What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. We've talked a lot on this show about contaminated water, specifically in Flint. But it's not just Flint, everybody. Not just Flint. This was in CBS News back in May. New study claims 43 states expose millions to dangerous chemicals in the drinking water. 43 states. So, <laughs> you, everyone watching this that lives in the U.S., it's probably one of the states you live in. It's definitely in California where I live. New report by the nonprofit Environmental Working Group and Northeastern University finds people in nearly every state in the country are exposed to unhealthy drinking water. And they, what they basically is the PFAS, those, those chemicals that are used in I'll get in with it, but they're using a lot of cleaners and a lot of this stuff. So they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Estimated 19 million people are exposed to contaminated water. Researchers found at least 610 contaminated locations. 19 people. That's over 5% of the entire population. <laughs> These chemicals, this is a quote from that, the person from that organization. It's in the article, which is in the show notes. If you go in the show notes, uh, I, I put a link to this article that I'm referencing. These chemicals don't break down in our body and they don't break down in our environment and they actually stick to our blood. So levels tend to increase over time. Again, if you're part of the ruling class, you're part of one of these big corporations that puts these chemicals out there, it's going to affect your water too. Because guess what? The PFAS are, in, are used in a broad range of consumer goods such as cleaners, textiles, leather, paper, and paints, firefighting foams, and wire insulation. That means everyone has them in your home in some capacity. I get all natural cleaners because I don't want this crap in my home. So here's a map of where these PFAS is are. This purple is their military sites. The blue is drinking water and the red is other known sites. Look at this. Well, there's the state of Michigan. It's almost completely contaminated. Here's the East Coast to the South. All the military bases have them. California. Wow. This is nuts. Chicago, Minneapolis. I mean, look at this. Look at all this. But if they're used in cleaners and stuff, they're probably good for you, right? No. They cause numerous health problems. Everything from testicular and kidney cancer heart, liver, heart, and thyroid. But the good news is we all got free health insurance in America, so we're, oh, wait, mm, wow. You see how this all just piles on each other? And the solutions, how would a Green New Deal and Medicare for All, we, get, we stop using these products. We just say that you can't use them anymore. Again, if you're a rich billionaire, this is going to affect you and your children and your grandchildren, and eventually it's going to affect your business. All you care about is money. It will affect you. Like, are you stupid? Do you think because you're a billionaire flying around in a private jet, this won't contaminate your water? You're just only going to drink bottled water? Well, bottled water has microfibers in it. So when every time you drink bottled water, you're drinking little pieces of, uh, micro pieces of plastic, microplastic. Suck on that. Chemical pollutants found in California drinking water could be responsible for an excess of 15,000 estimated cancer cases over the coming decades. So we're just knowingly giving everybody cancer. So chemical corporations can, and military bases can, ugh. 
Medicare for all and a Green New Deal, guys, fixes all of this. Fixes all this. We get a real progressive president in the White House, not a fake one like Liz Warren or Kamala, a real one like Bernie or Tulsi. <laughs> I'd love to see Mike Ravel get in there if he had a shot. A real progressive implement a real Green New Deal. It's the only chance we got. You know, we just got to get Trump out of there. Just got to get anybody in there but Trump, right? Because remember, Obama was so great. Remember what he did? Whoops. Remember what Obama did? It is. There you go. You know, generally I have not been doing stunts here, but you know. And uh, this used uh, a filter. Um, you know, the water around this table, uh, you know, was Flint water that was filtered, and it just confirms uh, what we know scientifically, which is. Uh, that uh, if you're using a filter, if you're installing it, uh, then Flint water at this point is drinkable. Bold face lie. He, if you notice, he didn't even really drink it. It's a bold face lie. I interviewed Jordan Sheridan about a month or so ago on the five year anniversary of Flint water. It is still contaminated. Jordan Sheridan from Status Coup said he went around and they were testing where oh, the water's good now in Flint. They're running the water for like a minute or two, letting all the contaminants run through the pipes and then they test the water. Oh, see, it's fine. It's all lies and nonsense. Obama was so much more presidential and classy than Trump. Yeah, still a bold-faced liar. A bold-faced liar. So then when then, then this, this idiot Trump gets in charge and he puts, you know, people that don't believe in climate change in charge of the EPA, the EPA has never really been that great to begin with. It was started by Nixon. According to the Environmental Working Group, the EPA does not have a legally enforceable limit for PFAS chemicals in drinking water. Another reason we need a Green New Deal to actually have an EPA that works, that doesn't work for chemical companies and the oil lobby. See guys? <laughs> I don't see Rachel Maddow talking about contaminated water for two and a half, three years. I haven't seen her talk about it for three years. I really haven't. I have not seen her talk about it for three years. I have not. 43 out of 50 states, 43 out of 50. Thanks for watching the show. Go to patreon.com slash Grimella to support the show. You can get bonus content for as little as $5 a month. And also rockfin.com slash Grimella. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free for 10 bucks a month and you get all the content on Rockfin. It is a blockchain cryptocurrency. All the creators have part ownership in it, so a big company cannot buy it out. Also, Progressive Comedy Tour, Las Vegas, July 27th. Ron Placone and I are coming. Uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, September 5th. Madison, Wisconsin, September 6th. And Minneapolis, September 7th. We're in the process of adding Iowa City. But right now, the ticket links for Sioux Falls, Madison, Minneapolis, and Vegas are all on GrahamElwood.com. Get your tickets now before the shows sell out. Thanks for watching.